What's going on guys, Vic VP here. On this one today, TikTok shop sent me this game stick 4K with two PS5 style controllers. Let's give this an honest review from a gamer's point of view. Spoiler alert, these suck. Let's take a look, 4K. <laughs> All right, you know the drill. If you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. There's a link tree link down below. Click it. You'll also see my website. Check out Game Case Arcades. That is my arcade virtual pinball. Anything gaming, that's my business right there. So you can check a look at that link, see what I do. Also, again, don't forget to follow all the socials. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. As you can see on TikTok, the comments, the likes, and the follows... It gets me some perks such as the TikTok showcase. This is not the first review item I've done for TikTok slash my TikTok showcase, but I like this opportunity that I have. I'd rather give you a real honest opinion from a gamer's point of view, a 34 year old gamer. Also be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this YouTube channel and on this video. Let me know what you think of all these kind of TikTok shop stuff. Also, don't forget to follow and watch the live streams. Yes, I do gaming. And the biggest thing is that I do play current gen games on arcade sticks. What are you waiting for? Go follow. You're missing out on everything. What? Are you, what? Who is this? <laughs> now, like I mentioned before, with TikTok, I have this opportunity with this TikTok showcase, TikTok shop. Anybody has this opportunity. You just got to post videos. I tell that to everybody. Post videos. If you think you could do it better than me or anybody else, like I do, I'm like, hey, I could do a review better than that guy, or I could show off a game better than that guy, do it. Everybody has the same opportunity like me. You start at zero and then you work your way up. Again, with all the followers, especially on TikTok, uh, TikTok is kind of just random. It's like a roulette wheel. Uh, you'll post an amazing video, but only get 100 views or you'll post a 10 second snippet and you'll get like millions of views. I don't know how the algorithm works, but with the TikTok uploads, and honestly with TikTok, you put a 10 minute video, that's pretty solid because my YouTube videos are long so I can make it shorter, whereas YouTube shorts is just one minute. So some people like quick content, some people like longer content, yada, yada, yada. On TikTok, I luckily have enough followers, views, likes, whatever you want to say, where I was able to unlock TikTok shop slash TikTok creator program. I'm in that program. Awesome. Great stuff. With that though, I could go to TikTok shop marketplace and request some free samples from people that are selling stuff, whether it's like electronics or I don't know, face masks or pants. I personally want to keep my stuff gaming related. So I do request free samples for gaming stuff such as this such as the Ambernick Game Boy SP console handheld that I reviewed about a month ago, got several views. And honestly, I've had some people that emailed me saying, hey Vic, can you do another one about you adding more games? That's all cool, all awesome. I'm down for that as long as it's gaming related. Stay tuned. I do have another handheld that was sent to me from TikTok shop. But enough of that BS on this one today. We're gonna be focusing on this right here, this 4K M15 plus wireless game stick. Uh, it's literally this. It fits in the palm of my hand. Again, it says game stick. It does say 4K on it. Spoiler alert, if my camera focuses, uh, there is nothing 4K about this. Why doesn't my camera focus? It's on me. There you go. You can see it there. The 4K Ultra HD Game Stick Pro. It just plugs into your HDMI port on your TV. It does need power though. So there is a convenient like USB power port right there. It does give you the wire conveniently on, I would say modern LCD, LED, OLED TVs, all TVs have this USB port. So you got the game stick, you put that into the HDMI port and then it's no joke, like a four to five inch long USB cord uh, that you plug into this, into your actual TV. So when your TV is powered on, this does power on. It also does come with one USB dongle. That is for the two PlayStation 5 style. If I could get my camera to focus. 
there you go it does come with this this connects to both of your playstation 5 controllers playstation 5 style controllers spoiler alert these suck these are god awful but for the price can you really complain it is what it is luckily it's got thumbsticks this does have ps1 on it, it doesn't run ps2 it doesn't run gamecube it's funny i mentioned that because there is another device or i've seen other streamers tiktokers showing off something like this but it's a black stick and it's got like gamecube and everybody that i see is playing def jam fight for new york or def jam vendetta i don't know i'll let you know what the price of this that it costs uh for the price uh i'm not totally a fan this is kind of cool this is good for like you know maybe grandparents giving it to the younger generation trying to get into retro gaming it's cool it works for what it is we're gonna load it up you're gonna see obviously we're gonna launch some type of street fighter that the naming isn't even street fighter it is what it is when you cut when it comes to these kind of emulated devices let's talk about what's in the box real quick again it's a it's your basic box the instructions on this are mediocre it's god awful uh but basically they come with two ps5 style controllers you do have your game stick that's in 4k which spoiler alert it is not i have this on my oled 4k display it outputs at 720p you're not going to play retro games at 4k conveniently though they do include this this is a must thank goodness that they include this this is an hdmi like extension cable my tv here and another tv i tested on the size of this like port here it is just huge my camera's not focusing whatever this covers up like three hdmi ports so you will most likely need this extension to pop in this way you don't have to unplug your cable box or your current playstation 5 so like I said, I see how the TikTokers live streaming. That's also, keep in mind, that's also another thing that if you do get into this creator program or these samples that you get, you do need to do a couple of things such as do like a one hour live stream talking about the product and you may have to do one or two like TikTok posts on it. I did a live stream on this and just mostly because of the controller, I was like, nope, I don't like this device at all. I don't like it. The controller is, is eh. I mean, again, a 34-year-old me, a 34-year-old gamer, an actual gamer, uh, these controllers are just, I don't, I don't like them. Maybe you could put different controllers. Like I said, it has one USB dongle, so maybe, I don't know, you could maybe try an 8 -0. I I don't have those controllers, so I can't really test that out. I do have an Xbox controller. Maybe we could test that out real quick. I'm going to see if I have a dongle available, but... All in all, the ad here, it says that there's 20,000 plus games with 20 plus emulators. It sells for $45.99. Uh, creator or the shop is A-B-O-L-O-888. Abolo888. Like I said, the one that I specifically have in my hand, it doesn't have like GameCube. It, so I don't see Def Jam Fight for New York on this. Let's not waste any more time. Let's load up the Elgato. Let's plug this in and let's just see what this has. Such as, does it have our red plumber? Does it have our blue hedgehog? Let's take a look. Let's pop this in. All right, so I turned the camera around. So as you can see, I have like my Elgato right here. So luckily this HDMI extender, we could pop this in and I will get my USB cord that's coming out of my TV and we'll plug that in and We'll see this. Now this is running Emulek. I've never heard of Emulek. Once I saw this, I'm like, oh, okay. This is like another Raspberry Pi uh, thingamabob. Um, kind of a spoiler alert. As far as adding games to this, it ain't happening. You cannot add games to this. I pressed A on that. Uh, as you can see, we have our menu here. I can't change the menu. We're going to look into it. Let's go through the systems real quick and let's just see what we have. Now off the bat there, you can see that there is 20,129 games. You got arcade classics. Let's see the 600 arcade classics. Final Burn is also arcade. There's 19 Final Burn. And then as far as MAME arcade, there's 13. Interesting lineup there. Atari 2600, 5278, the links. Capcom 1, 2, and 3, these are arcade. Um, let's see, 500 Capcom 3. Uh, 
Again, this is the CPS, 20 CPS2 and 20 CPS1. You got the PC engine. I like how they took out the name. It's the entertainment system. There's almost 4,000 ROMs there. Nesh, uh, don't know what that is, the Game Boy. The Super Famicom, the SNES, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Sega Genesis, Game Gear, Genesis. This is the Mega Drive. Good. Neo Geo Pocket and PS1. So you get a couple of handhelds, which is pretty cool. I mean, obviously you have your main stuff, your Game Boys. That's all there, all said and done. It was very funny. The first thing I wanted to load up was Street Fighter, right? So I come here, look at the menus on this. There's no, men uh, there's no music here, which is okay. Uh, looks like there's like, I could even do a search, but let's just go slow with this. This right here made me laugh because it says Street Fighter 2 for Heavenly Kings 2. It's, it's your basic uh, generic stuff. Now, I did launch this, and it took some time to launch. Again, this right now, for some reason, is, is labeled under CPS, which is correct. Um, just sometimes the games take a little long to load. Uh, I'll be honest, I only tested like three games. So we could do this together. I'll enter some coins, making sure my audio is there. I could hear it through my speaker. Let's make sure you could see it there. Dun, dun, dun. Cool, awesome. Like I said, you have your, it's just like the controller. They're very light and I just don't like the feel of them. It's gonna be your basic stuff. It should be like L1 and L, uh, R1 and L1 is like your heavy punch, heavy kicks. So it's cool. Like I said, if you're looking to get like your, your like the younger generation, let's see, I can also use the thumbstick, so that's actually solid. How's the thumbstick on the There you go. Bad. Oh, key Honda. No. no. Let me go, please. There you go. Oh. E Honda, we're just gonna kick my butt. Oh. <laughs> so the one kind of cool thing I will give it the positive. If you do hit select and start, most of the time, it's gonna give you this. Good, as you can see, it's got a little delay. It does give you the option to save state and load state. So for the sanity of us, let's press save state. Let's actually see if that saves. Round two. So let's just go ahead, we'll play a little bit. Round two. Good stuff. I mean, again, I'm, I'm used to playing, I'm bad at Street Fighter, that's number one, but I'm not even gonna shoot for it. <laughs> Again, this is also the arcade version, so as you can see, I'm able to put coins in and press start. This isn't like the SNES, this isn't the console version of Street Fighter 2, so that's pretty awesome. Awesome, let's see now if I do start select and if I load the state, it works, cool. Load and save states, that's a pretty, pretty cool thing. I'm gonna go ahead and exit. We're gonna take a look real quick at the arcade side of things. Um, I mean, again, the amount of games for the arcade seems, it's kind of, it's off. I don't know. I, definitely there's no clones at least. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, right now, I don't know the entire like CPS library off the top of my head. Number one, you can also see here, there is no, there's no, there's no like um, sort option. So it's not an alphabetical word. That's number one. Circus Charlie is definitely not a <laughs> a CPS game. Shoot bowl. I mean, most of this though is your like arcade, um, you know, emulation game. It's your ROM name, I should say. Elevator Action 1 and 2. The categories are the categories. Um, if I go into like MAME real quick. It's, it, it is with Captain Hook. It, it, it's, this is Hook. Um... It's just not in alphabetical order, and there's no option to do anything about it. Um, so Marvel versus Capcom, MVSC. If I wanted to like search this, so search is Y, which is conveniently labeled correctly, good. So if I wanted to put like Marvel, it's, gonna, it's not gonna show me Marvel versus Capcom. It might show me like the PS1 version possibly, but let's just see. We'll do it together, why not? Oh, that is, oh, okay. Marvel Land, Marvel Superheroes. So no, no MVC. So if you wanna look for like arcade games, uh, it's, you're, you're gonna have a, a tough time. Let's just see if we get some Metal Slug. That's always like my go-to. I do wanna also see, you'll see coming up on my channel, um, you'll see, 
I did a, uh, a restore, I revived a jungle hunt. So Metal Slug is kind of your basic stuff. Also, this is, again, Metal Slug is not a CPS uh, game, but uh, at least it's there. So not all the arcade titles are exactly named, but as you can see, if you're looking for Marvel vs. Capcom, good luck, you're gonna have to need to know the actual ROM name. Now real quick, we'll look up this game that I revived from Taito, which is Jungle Hunt. Again, you'll take a look at my channel. I basically saved this arcade cabinet from going to the landfill. Do we have Jungle Hunt? On the Atari 2600, it is also a console game. So I will give it that. Jungle Book, Jungle Strike. Possibly it could also be Jungle King. Um, so let's run this, let's see it. Uh, again, some arcade action. It's cool, like I said, my only big downside with this, number one, 100%. The screen is spazzing. Number one definitely is the is the controller. The controller just annoys me um, to an extent. Also, if you're looking to add games, okay, cool. So this is uh, Jungle King. And again, the, the... that was terrifying. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, so cool. It's got the other, I mean, again, the Jungle King is an actual title game. And as you can see, I crash and burn. Cool, awesome. Pac-Man, I'm pretty sure it's got your regular classic arcade games. Um, solid stuff, like I said, the biggest thing is the controller. I don't like the controller on this. Now I did put this SD card into my computer. It's 64 gigs. You cannot add games to this. I put it in my computer, five USB devices like popped up or drive numbers popped up and uh, all of them asked to format. So if you're gonna, don't do that because you're gonna lose everything. But as far as adding games, it is impossible. If I press start, um, like I said, I have another handheld coming up. That runs Emulek. And at least on that handheld, I'm able to change the theme. Uh, I don't want this, get rid of this. I could change the theme, but on this I can't. And again, as you can see, there's a little slight lag. Uh, information, there's your version. I don't know what that means. Uh, language is in, English and we are not gonna touch the restore default. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's see now, does it have our favorite little red plumber? Might as well make my life easy. And we'll do, we'll utilize the search. So using the search is pretty cool. Again, my idea with this, and I, this is exactly what I'm doing with this device here. I'm giving this to my parents. We're gonna put this to their TV. And basically when the grandkids come over, they have something to play and hang out with. Uh, classic NES series. We see a lot of the name. So this, this is okay. I would really like to see if there's like Mario Kart. Um, Nesh. Mario Bros. 2. Super Mario World, that is a hack. 100%. Super Mario 64. Um, yeah. We're getting, uh, possibly are these gonna be bomb hacks? This one's got Duck Hunt on it. Duck Hunt would be, this would be the NES, if it's correct. Cool, so it's there. I'm not gonna run it all because I don't want to get hit with the music, music stuff, but it's there. I'm actually surprised that it's there. Uh, quite a lot. Honestly, as you can see, a lot of ROM hacks. A lot of ROM hacks, and it's just... Probably right here is a good, like, I don't know, thousand games worth of hacks. If I just put the word cart, let's see if we can see our cart. Ah, now you gotta get into, like, the phase of, uh, you know, getting used to your bottom button is enter. Bottom button is X on the controller, so that's like your enter. Got to get kind of used to that. Let's put the word cart, and let's see. So again, unfortunately, this, you cannot add games to it. I don't know what Raider is, but game number 19,771. Let's see, is this a hack, or is this the legit thing? Oh. Okay, interesting, I couldn't see anything on the menu, but it seems right. 
It's there. Let's go one last thing. Let's look up our blue hedgehog cart fighter. Uh, again, back. Again, it's got, it's, it's got a delay to it, but it's just, it's not awful. Uh, let's look up our man, Sonic. Sonic Boom. Sonic 2 on the Game Gear. The Genesis. Let's run it. Let's see. Retro. <laughs> Iconic, and it does seem like it is the correct one. Yep. We're good. Like I said, I don't want to, I, I unfortunately don't want to keep this on. But yes, okay, cool. That's a, that's a big plus, honestly. You don't have to add stuff. Let's take a look real quick at the PS1 uh, list, because that's really the only thing that would be number one graphic intense on this. Oh, Rivals? Where did it go? <laughs> Competitor schools? Uh, I love this on the arcade. I never played it on the PS1, but let's see how it acts. I'm gonna definitely load up a Tekken game. This way we can at least see the performance power on this. Again, for the price, it's, it might be a good, you know, Christmas present. It's a good way to get the kiddos like involved. Uh, we'll just do one player game. No audio in the menu. Again, you can't add PS2, you can't, is there just no audio? Let's see. <laughs> we're doing it together. We're, we're, we're experiencing, this, experiencing this live. Are you ready? Come on, baby. Amazing arcade game. This right here, Rivals. Woof. It's just, as you can see though, if you're looking for Rivals, there's no audio. Round one, fight. That's what it, like, it, that's what it would be. Um, good. Thank you for the uh, health, which I didn't need. Uh, let's see. So the right thumbstick is actually doing stuff. Oh, okay. All right. The no audio on that is already annoying me. Disc control. That's interesting. It's also got save states on this. Let's do one more game. Let's do Tekken. Um, maybe just that one game doesn't have uh... you definitely have audio. You could, you could hear it there. Medal of Honor. Smackdown 2? Let's see. <laughs> I mean, I would, I would assume that's a pretty graphic, uh, graphic intense. We're right now, I'm, I'm basically trying to push the limits of the system. Again, it's only being powered by like your, what is it, like 5 volt USB port on your TV? Um, Ladies and gentlemen, this is proof. Anything can happen in the World Wrestling Federation. At least we have audio. So I was worried like the emulator wasn't going to give us audio. I'm going to cut to us actually playing. This way we don't get hit with any uh, anything. Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, look at those graphics. Amazing. Amazing stuff. So, as I was doing like the character select, uh, it looks like the buttons are not mapped correctly. For example, it's said to press triangle to cancel, and I was pressing triangle, but you would expect to be triangle, and it didn't do anything. Uh, I think triangle was where square would be. I'm getting my tail hit right now. Oh, come on. I mean, no, no, like audio, like stuttering, stuttering. If I could do anything, there you go. Good grapple, good grapple. No taunting, no taunting. It's got definitely the analog to D pad kind of option. And again, you can't go into like emulator settings. You can't, you can't change anything. You're basically stuck. However it is, however it's set up. We are stuck. Yeah, like the, the one that I would assume is punch is running. Uh, if we go here, like I said, I can go, see like that? Yeah, back. Usually like circle would be the back. Yeah, there you go. I expect that to happen, I guess. And again, unfortunately, no way of uh, changing emulators. I'm going to go back to the menu real quick. Um... It has here game options, hold. So I'm holding A. Nothing happened. <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing happened. 
Nothing happened. Literally nothing. Uh, menu? There's a menu? No, menu is nothing on this. Again, this is running Emulek. I, you, you can't add games to it and that's it. You're basically set with it. How many Game Boy games are there? Let's see. Nesh is NES, but there's two NESs. I don't, I don't really understand why there's a 4,000 game entertainment system and then 1,700 Nesh. It is what it is. There you go. That's at least some gameplay kind of menu options on that. So I'm pretty sure you could tell from my enthusiasm in this video is how I feel about this device. It is what it is. Again, it's a great way to get the younger generation or to relive classics. Luckily, it's got a convenient setup. Select start, you could load state, save state. I do like that. It does power on fairly quickly, as you can see in the video. Um, the controllers are probably the main killer on this. This is really what I don't like. You got like a on and off switch, which is just brutal to turn off. You really got to dig your nail into it to turn off. Um, it does need uh, AAA batteries, two AAA batteries per controller. That's really all I could say. Would I recommend this? $45 right now. If it's like free shipping, it's, it's really not that bad for a plug and play device. Again, my biggest thing, if you didn't get out of it, get rid of the controllers. Screw these controllers. I'd rather take on, uh, I don't know, regular like SNES controller style stuff. Um, but again, with PS1, you do use the thumbstick. So it is what it is. I just don't like how they feel. It feels so crappy, cheap, and light. Um, there's also no like sync button to these. Uh, so the first two pairs of batteries I got, apparently they were too low powered. It wouldn't connect. Uh, when you do connect them or turn on your controller, there is a blue LED on. That means it's connected. For 10 minutes, I'm like, I'm only getting an orange. How do I like reconnect? Because it worked before. And then it turned out that my batteries were bad. But there you guys have it. Check this out. It's like, if I was going to rate it out of 10, again, somebody that plays games, Keep in mind, as you can see, if you're looking for Marvel vs. Capcom, you're going to have to look up the ROM. Expect a lot of ROM hacks. This is basically the portable version of a Pandora's box. I would give it like, I don't know, a 5. A 5 out of 10. It's not totally needed. There are most likely definitely better options. But for the price at $45, connects to your TV. Basically, right now, like I said, I'm going to bring this to my parents' house. It's gonna connect to an HDMI port and then just be buried to the rear of the TV. Hopefully the kiddos don't lose the controllers, but all in all, there you have it. Vic VP Game Case Arcades. The 4K Game Stick. I'd pass on it. 